<laughs> all right, all right, all right. This is MC for Web3 TV. We are here at the beautiful Address Marina and this amazing event, ABC Web3 Conclave. ABC is all about connecting. So, speaking of connecting, it's great to finally connect in person with Anton. Pleasure to meet you. We actually know to uh, our special friend, Sam Lai. Big shout out to you. Hopefully, you're doing well somewhere in Japan or Taipei or whatever Sam Lai stuff. But I want my audience to know who you are, where you're from, and what do you do, sir? Okay, so first, thank you for having me. It's awesome to be here. So just in a nutshell, um, I've been in the crypto space for quite some time, so almost 10 years now. Uh, ran a crypto exchange, ran a market making company, and now running a DAO in Switzerland called Swiss Asset DAO, with a vision, with a vision to make DAOs legal and to enable them to invest into real world assets. So this is what Swiss Asset DAO is all about. Okay, no, that's interesting because uh, speaking of DAOs, you know, uh, there has been, I know in the States and, and else in the West too, like there's been this whole complication that, you know, uh, DAOs are a partnership or, you know, some other legal entity. So, uh, but I guess the question I got to ask you, why does that matter to you, especially when it comes to DAOs? I, I guess, you know, I, I guess, you know, people may not ask, hey, why should I care, you know? So, so, so please take it away, sir. So in terms of, I think like decentralization is actually the biggest innovation our industry and the people in the industry created. And then I'm very passionate about it. And I think that that's actually a very nice, natural way of evolving that you actually run a company in a decentralized way or run a community in a decentralized way. And that's exactly what DAOs do. Decentralized autonomous organization. They're also autonomous. They're kind of like, autom you know, they're managed in a way in lines with the expectations. So for me, it was very key actually that why don't we then take this value that's very important for our industry, decentralization, and then also run entities and run communities like that but this is our vision but then when you realize very quickly is that DAOs usually start off in the crypto world you know like these blobs these groups and all of a sudden you know you grow all of a sudden you have a thousand community members maybe even have some assets something happen but then it's like what's happening in the real world how do we protect ourselves this is what you mentioned actually we need to have a really strong legal framework that should, something doesn't go as uh, wrong so I, I guess like because some, I also personally feel like you know the concept of DAO it, 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 like it also has a cultural impact to is changing the way we how we deal with society I mean what are your thoughts on that I mean so first of all I have to say that now running for myself running a DAO it's such a different experience than running a traditional company where usually I was the big shareholder or the biggest shareholder and then you kind of call the shots that's how it is you have your clients your community but they can't say much now running a DAO it's for me a unique experience because all of a sudden it's like the community decides I'm just the enabler of the community but it's like this very amazing experience is how you can easily through a DAO get people closer together and that's the most beautiful thing that's about DAO, that's reshaping society and communities because we are bringing each other closer together for good. No, I, I, I love that you, you know you shared your your experience in the past and now working with a DAO. Um, you know, uh, I, I used to work in the corporate space, so there's this hierarchy and structure, and you know you can call the shots and do this, do that, and stuff. Um, but you know, I, I think to me the DAO, it's it's quite interesting because you have to communicate with people you have to how do you say build relationships so I guess also DAOs also it's a great way to maybe onboard new people I mean what are your thoughts on that so I think you know you mentioned something that's so in, I mean, inherently important to human humans actually it's communication and DAOs are actually in DAOs I have to I have it now experience you have to pretty much over communicate so always the time engage with people explain to them what's going what's happening and now in terms of what I have to tell you my unbelievable experience so far people want to be part of a DAO I thought I would have a hard time attracting people but people just come over because I think they're so much motivated with this new experience of being a stakeholder. But I also think like DAOs are actually so cool, or at least we try to make it cool, where everybody can say, you know, everybody can sh say what they think, they can be a part of it, they can become a more important stakeholder, less important stakeholder. But I think it's just, a, it's an amazing new evolution of entities, how groups function. Let's see how it will progress, you know, what will be in the future. But for me, I absolutely unbelievable experience. And I invite everybody who is watching this, come and become a member of Swiss Asset DAO. It's amazing. Awesome. Hey, and uh, I, 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 uh, just uh, one last thing, um, because I remember, you, you know, I, I know you, you, you have the Flowtech, which is the market maker. You got a Swiss Asset DAO. You, you also had an exchange before. So, you know, you, 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 I'm sure you've been through the bulls and bears, right? Like since what, what, 2015 or more. So, I, you know, 
you got a lot, a lot of new people coming in. I mean, I, I, I know you, I got some developers, you know, from different communities, got some TradFi people coming in, you know, so I, I have a, I have a hard time giving advice to all these people, but I know you have, you have, you have made, you build, you executed, you're doing a lot of multiple things. What would be that one advice that you would give to someone who's entering into our world of Web3, crypto, DAO, DeFi. So what would that be? Yeah. So the single advice that I would actually give to people who are considering the crypto industry is that you have to be comfortable with innovation. So I really want to point out that we're such a young, early industry that things change so fast and it's so it's, it's it, I mean, it's, it's normal. It's like I think it's part of the part of the it's very different than a corporate environment. But I think even if you come from a corporate environment or from TradFi, how we call traditional finance, I think like you, if you want to embrace something, embrace one of the most amazing things about the crypto industry, which is innovation. Be part of it, innovate and innovate even how you run companies. Now we have a DAO here, you know, which is very different than the traditional company. So I, I would, if I would advise you is embrace innovation. It's beautiful. It brings a bit of uncertainty, which is, that makes life more fun. But, you know, bring your innovative spirit and become of this, uh, part of this amazing community. All right. There's one more last question, right? W uh, like, would you go back to the corporate or the TradFi space? <laughs> so to all the people in the TradFi, you know, come to the crypto industry it's amazing <laughs> or habib even come to dubai or come to switzerland so i would uh, uh, i personally i think i have found my space so i'm going to stay here and i'm inviting everybody to kind of take a close look at the crypto industry it's fascinating and if they like it hope join it's awesome yeah there you have it fam anton thank you for your service to the web3 space we need more people like you and thank you for the, you know like you know challenging norms and you know breaking the barriers so there you have it fam we gotta go so y'all be good y'all be safe and we'll talk to you soon bye for now